Hey, what's up, my little turtle toes? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are waiting for a personality, uh, Katie and Lord Baltimore, which is William the Prince of Wales, I just want to know who is their PR person? Do you know that they announced that they're going to Wales next month to celebrate Black History Month for the first time ever in the history of whatever? They're going to Wales to celebrate Black History Month. Is this the cover up for the fact that Kate is refusing to go to Singapore? And by refusing, I mean that her husband seems like he did not invite her and she is refusing to beg. Y'all listen, the royal family is in a tailspin of boredom, of boring. Because here's the thing, right? They cut everybody out so they could shine. But they somehow expect to shine without actually doing any work. Now listen, I'll be serious. I love that for the monarchy. I am an anti-monarchist. Full disclosure, I think anybody that thinks somebody's blood makes them better than another person's is one, an idiot. And two, they don't belong on this channel. But three, it's ridiculous. And it goes down to whoever your favorite is. Everybody is born equal. But that said, let's laugh at these idiots that somehow are the most boring, inept, and social climbing. But they were born into these situations. First, let's talk about this Black History Month. You know, I'm sure Kate is like, listen, telling her security people, if any uh, people approach me, um, what do we do? Because usually we shoot, like literally, she probably doesn't even know what to do or say. It's just the fact, and the thing is, right? Why are they acting like they're down for the cause? Why are they acting like they care? And why are people even entertaining this? I would find this most, the most repulsive. This is the one person that when the Obamas came to visit, they put a picture of a slave on the wall, right? And no, it wasn't an honor. It was a very derogatory picture. These are the people that up until a couple of months ago had racial slurs used on the royal website to describe jewelry they don't care william's godmother was in the palace asking somebody where are you from but no where are you really from apparently in england that's shade for you don't belong here because nobody ever acts a white person unless they have like an accent where they're from anyway let's get into this mess they're saying prince william princess kate will mark the start of Britain's Black History Month with a visit to Wales, where they'll carry out two engagements focusing on how young people of color are creating positive change in the, co in the country. What are they going to do? Sit there and say, oh, yes, 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 Tamika. Yes, Hakim. Very well done. Where did you say your parents were from? Oh, Shoreditch. Hmm. Well, literally, what are they going to do? Sit in front of those kids and say, I just want you all to know that you can be anything you want and do anything you want in this world except marry into our family and be a part of our blood and mixed blood. But aside from that, anything. Well, and, and stay out of our upper crust circles. But, but and, 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 we don't want to see you on TV. Um, I will make sure the Tory party that we support, both uh, waiting for our Kate, personality, Katie and myself both support the Tory party. We'll do everything we can to make sure that the remnants, the ghost of colonialism and apartheid are well, well, well going into the 20th century and beyond. I mean, it's laughable that two people that have zero people of color working for them. I repeat, zero people of color working for them. Oh, you didn't know that? Every year the Kensington Palace and the palaces re uh, re release reports on how much money they spend and also um, the ethnic makeup of all their employees from their servants to their secretaries to whatever. Every year, but because the queen, yeah, she's not a good person. The, I would say God rest her soul, but no, just rest in, I don't know, right? In 1960, she signed, she vetoed that act saying that any minority uh, rights did not, did not apply to the royal family. On top of that, every year, uh, Will and Kate refuse to release their numbers on any diversity because they have none. They have no black friends. They have no black employees they have no black co-workers they have no black college friends they have lived their life william the most he's ever said is racism has bored me really william anyway 
Um, they're now speaking at Black History Month. I mean, I guess. I guess they think their presence is a presence. And I guess for people around them, it is. It's just laughable. And it's pathetic. Creating a positive influence. Again, I really do think they're going to say, you are creating a positive influence by not marrying into our family. Oh, also, let's get into some tea over Kate and Singapore. If you guys don't know, there's something called the Earthshot Prize. What is it? Some dumb prize that William made up that he like literally sunk 10 million in only I think four two million went into prizes the rest went I think that's what people said my numbers might be out but let's just say only 25 percent of it went to actual the recipients that are supposed to use the money to make the earth a better place environmentally wise and it's all top heavy uh, who was it? Harry has the Invictus. So William's trying to create an award tour that will rival the Invictus. And he got on Eco. Never mind he takes a helicopter everywhere and private flights, right? Never mind that. It's all about being eco-friendly. So anyway, the Earth's Prize, I believe, was in Boston last year in the middle of winter. It was horrible. Kate looked a mess. Her face was freshly Botox. She had a green dress on, the same color as the carpet. Green is not her color. She looked a mess, right? I see why her hair is always in her face. Okay, William looked a mess too. So anyway, I think the first Earthshot Prize... They, tr- they dressed in recycled clothes. Like, uh, do you guys not get it? The second one, it was in Boston. The third one, they're having in New York. Kate was, sorry, Kate was supposed to go. Why is that so important? Because I don't think that William gets, and most of the royal men don't get, they get jealous over the women, but they don't realize that women, I would assume, and girls grow up wanting to be princes. I don't know many princesses. I don't know many little boys that are like, I want to be a prince. I want to wake Cinderella, right? They're playing with He-Man or something. But most, I believe, in my opinion, that the biggest thing with royals are, um, honestly, uh, women. You know, they love the fact of being a princess, being the queen. They love the fashions. They love the jewels. They love all this stuff. So the royal men are always upset that they're always eclipsed on the paper. But what are we supposed to talk about? Your boring speech? The same suit you always wear? Your comb over or lack of if you're William, right? Isn't it odd that Charles has a full head of head and William is just bold, bold, bold? But it says it follows the mother's maternal line, so whatever, right? Harry's fighting for his ancestors and his mother's love has wrapped, him in, wrapped her in his mother's love and being like, you're not taking these red hairs off of this head because he looks like he's defying his genetics. Anyway, right? Um, oh, but then again, Harry does take after his father and Prince Philip. But Prince Philip, did he have a full head of hair until it doesn't matter? Let's get back on point, right? Anyway, Kate was supposed to be in Singapore. Everybody was waiting for her fashions and basically for William and Kate to embarrass their country and whatnot because that's what they always do. Well, get this. Kate is not going to Singapore. A lot of people, including the palace, said that she wasn't basically invited because William wants to be seen as a statesman and he doesn't want Kate's jewels and clothes and all that stuff overshadowing him. To which I was like, wait, you want to be a st- known as a global statesman, but you don't want your wife to come with you? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, every time I see a diplomatic dinner, every time I see the diplomat, every time I see anything, the soft diplomacy, right? Every time I see that, It's always whoever is the person and their spouse. Woman, her husband comes. Like, it's a spouse thing. They don't just go along unless they're doing peace treaties or talking about something very, very seriously. But when it comes to, like, the the TV and the shaking hands, the wife is always there. And she's always doing a fashion show because that's what gets clicks. So they said Kate wasn't going. And I said, Kate has been doing her best to establish her identity outside of William because she wants to be beloved by the people so that William can't divorce her (laughs) and plants his rose bushes all over uh, the tower. Well, listen, it's been confirmed that she is not going. But now Kate's people are saying, you didn't uh, didn't tell me I couldn't come. I said I didn't want to come myself. I wasn't uninvited. I didn't want to come because, right? Her mom, well, not her mom, but... 
People said Carol Middleton can't put out furious denial saying, you guys, she's a mother. She got kids to raise. Girl, please. We saw you downing spicy margarita at Rose Hanabury's house. You really expect us to believe that you're a mom. Like, you're, all of a sudden, now you can't leave your kids. Anyway, they say the Princess of Wales will miss Prince William's third annual Air, Air Shot Prize. I'm sorry, Earthshot Prize awards in a huge blow for organizers. Kate has attended every awards show since they began two years ago. Every awards show? You mean two? But it can now be revealed that she'll not be traveling to Singapore with her husband for the 2023 event in November. Instead, <laughs> she'll remain at home with, ch- with children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, who'll be at ho- who will be at school as the event coincides with term time. It's believed Kate does not want to disturb the youngsters' schooling and works hard to ensure the trio have a stable home life in preparation for their royal uh, careers later down the line. Kids and Palace is poised to release further details about the 2023 Earthshot. Y'all listen, this is all I want to say. Tell me you're separated and can't stand the sight of each other without telling me you're separated and can't stand the sight of each other. Y'all listen, this is an entire mess. This story is developing because you know William and Kate's office are going to try to spin this as much as they can. And le- But you know what I really want to see? Let's see if Kate steps on Will's news cycle. Oh my God. Oh my God. If that happens, yay. Listen, they wanted to blame Harry and Meghan, but let's thank Charles. Let's thank Camilla. Let's thank, uh, who is it? Kate and William for ending the British monarchy. Listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.